Foot Locker is putting out fantastic ads once again. We've seen these with Jumpman, and now Foot Locker is absolutely killing it. Somehow they put Mike Tyson, Evander Holyfield, Dennis Rodman, Kyrie Irving, and Brett Favre in one commercial. Let's take a look. Man, I can't believe it's finally the week of greatness at Foot Locker. A whole week of the most premium kicks? Feels like all is right with the world. I'm sorry, Evander. It's your ear. So, Mr. Rodman, round trip to North Korea? One way. One way? <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Goodbye, old friends. I okay? Well, that's great. But a man's got to know when to walk away. Yeah. Right here. I kept that in formaldehyde. One way. He said one way. <laughs> He's never coming back! <laughs> Thanks. I don't know. Things just feel different. That was awesome. Uh, how hard was it, do you think, for Brett Favre to say that? <laughs> well, harder oh. for Dennis Rodman. I mean, that's <laughs> but I mean, like to do the takes because he's a horrible actor. Is that you mean, or maybe because to say he's, it? He's saying, he he no, I'm sure he a, cried a little when yeah. he was like, "I gotta say this." He I couldn't. Say I say this all the time. And, and so, something about Mary. He couldn't stand still. Like no. His, his direction was. Brett, you just stand there and you, uh, look at Cameron Diaz. <laughs> Couldn't do it. Couldn't do it. <laughs> no, I, I had to watch it three times. <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Mary. You know I've always been true. Yeah. Come, hold up, Mary. Mary, you know I've always been true to you. <laughs> <laughs> but he's not an actor. It was funny. It almost made, it, it made it funnier. It was yeah, funny. yeah, exactly. I think it's why they probably one of the reasons they did it. But no, they, they, uh, they, they, were, like, uh, they were like, fuck uh, it. It's Brett Favre. It's fine. <laughs> yeah. It's fine. That's a wrap. Good job, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> I had to watch that ad three times to know what he said. I didn't a know man's that. gotta know how to walk yeah, away. It took, I figured it out eventually. That's racist. <laughs> um, uh, Mike Tyson also giving Evander Holyfield back. By the way, Evander Holyfield looks jacked. Yeah. He, he still looks like he's training and in shape. The, uh, he yeah. last fought in 2011, but he, he looks huge. I don't know whether Evander Holyfield has used performance enhancing drugs. How many boxers use PEDs? I mean, I all of them. I don't know. Mike Tyson, uh, uh, unlike Brett Favre, Mike Tyson, not a bad actor. Yeah, no, like Mike Tyson has timing. Well, yeah. he's doing a play now, his own play. Oh, is that right? It's a one man show, right? It's a one man show. Oh. Spike Lee is directing it, and Mike Tyson is just yeah. up there telling a story. Uh, well, I like, you know, he's a On Broadway. An interesting guy, Mike Tyson. It's uh, hard to figure out. Totally. I'm frustrated by how to, what to exactly. think about Mike Tyson. Um, but uh, Why? Well, because, I mean, it Those can't ignore the things. rape charge, but there were things about that case that totally bothered me. Um, and. Uh, he's admitted but he's he's been a he's done horrible things. He's yeah. admitted he's he's made a lot of mistakes and he's had addiction issues and he's had home living growing up issues. So all these things build into this person he's become, right. good and bad. But he, he and, and he acknowledges it and he's gotten better, but you can't throw away the whole right. and, but, he, but he is so open about it and so sort of I mean, you talk about how difficult it is for people to change the core of who they are. I mean, he's interested in it, and he's thoughtful, and he's ha you're right, he has admitted it. He didn't admit to the Desiree Washington crime, but he essentially suggested that, like, you could have gotten him on other stuff similar, yeah. mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. Um, so, um, you know, and I look, he went to prison. You get to reform yourself, you know. So, in that, yeah. I, I don't know, I, I, there are things about him that I, I can't help but admire. Um, Good to and hear. he's a better actor than Brett Favre. Yeah. But and cool. actually, I feel like the hardest one I, I would have felt was Dennis Rodman doing his part of that commercial. That's because they're like, everybody's applauding, you know. But <laughs> He's uh, never coming back. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What, he said one way. <laughs> he said one way. <laughs> He's not coming back. Uh, that's a well-written spot. I wonder who produced that. Who's Footlocker doing? taking jabs at people left and right. Um, but, and, then, and then the bonus of like the, the, the randomly thrown in Craig Sager. Yeah, like that's a that's a that's pretty deep. Like you got to be a pretty serious sports fan to know that. And his like most people, you know, his terrible like, appearance. Like like my girlfriend will know that Mike Tyson bit Evander Holyfield's ear, and she knows Dennis Rodman obviously went to North mm -hmm. Korea, and she knows Brett Favre came back mm -hmm. right too many times, right? Or you know, yeah. uh, annoyed some. But she doesn't know Craig Sager as the weird jacket. <laughs> like that's I, so I like them putting that in there. That's great.